Hello the Darkness 344 here and today I'm going to be showing you, well, the smallest binary coded decimal display driver that I think it's the smallest anyway, on bedroll condition or pocket edition. As you can see, I've made this, it's pretty small as you can see. So yeah, also check out my YouTube channel for other stuff, you're probably watching it right now, so uh -huh. check out other stuff, I have calculators and stuff. <coughs> oh, my nose. Well. As you can see, it is very compact. So, yeah. So here's the display, just a simple sound segment display. It's a bit big on the big side, which is kind of sad, but you can make, you can do whatever sound segment display you want. So here's the input in BCD. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. So, and these are in like nibbles kind of thing. So, so one, two, four, eight, in 10, 20, 40, 80, uh, 100, 200, 400, 800, like that. So say we wanted the number uh, 75. So you try and find five on this side. So that's four plus one, that's five. Then you'd find 70, which is 40 plus 20 plus 10. So of course you'd have this at the end of your calculator so you'd have a binary to BCD converter and then you put this in and it would make a really fast nice display drive and this is actually expandable as well whoops because what you can do is as you can see it's only two digits but what you can do you could just copy this entire thing and just paste it right over here in your world and that means you have pretty much double the numbers and if you only want like a three digit display, you just copy half of this as you can see because these are separate modules. They're pretty much the same thing, just mirrored as you can see because it saves a bit of space. So this top section over here, like from from this and upwards, is the uh, BCD to, so binary code to decimal to decimal, well base 10 converter. So say you have the number two, which is zero zero one zero. It will turn on the number two here. So this is zero one two. So zero zero one zero turns into two on this, and that will go into the display. So as I was saying, <laughs> it would go into. I lost my track. It would thought track. It would go into this display driver. That's what it's called. Yeah, I lost my thought track. So it will go into this display driver, as you can see, which pretty much is what's what is the number displaying. So five, uh, two even. <laughs> so this display driver is divided into two parts: the bottom section and the top section, as you can see. So. It's pretty much the top three segments. So this one, this one, and this one is the top three. And the bottom four segments, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one, is the four you see down here. So one, two, three, four, like one, two, three, four. And you can pretty much put any decimal number into this. So from one to nine, I mean zero to nine, and it'll come off this. As you see, there's 10 lines, but that's because the first one is zero. So if I turned off all of these levers. It should be zero zero. So, uh, missed. As you can see, zero zero. So, the default is always zero. And then when you turn on, like say one, it should be zero one. As you can see, this display driver is really really small. As I really just can't state how small it is, and it's very useful because instead of doing a ROM display driver where you each you have it goes from binary to decimal, straight to decimal, instead of going to B instead of going from binary to BCD to decimal, it just goes from binary to decimal, which would make this way bigger. So see how small it is at the moment? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten rows pretty much. If you're doing it binary to decimal, it would be ninety-nine rows because there's ninety-nine different combinations for these two, isn't there? That's massive. It's stupid. It's gonna be stupidly big. It will like stretch out all the way, like all the way around there, right? Won't it? And 
I'd rather have something this big than a massive thing that you'd have to program each number in by hand to do. So if you do use this map, so I'll put it on the MCP deal, please check out my YouTube channel and give credit. So yes. Uh, what do I have to do now? Let me check. Uh, yeah, so I got this inspiration. Here's my calculator, by the way. Oh, yes. Uh, from this calculator right here. There's only a few calculators. As you can see, there's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, all in the MCP EDL. This one is the one that I was looking at, as you can see, and it's by this guy right here. And it is a fairly decent calculator. It has all these calculation things I really can't speak anymore operations that's what I meant operations and I have it downloaded right here so I got the whole BCD display driver idea from this calculator so this is their BCD's display drive as you can see much bigger than mine because mine goes all the way up to here so all of this is cut out from mine much more simpler and this is quite a lot more confusing because it uses weird redstone things like my one just uses repeaters here and pulls this a bit closer. So, and I think my one might be a bit faster. I don't actually know. But yeah, this display driver is pretty cool. It's pretty much the same thing, just mine's a bit smaller. And here's the top section from there one again. Then if we go over here, here's the actual calculator. And so you can do like from one to nine, all, all these operations. As you can see, here is the display. This over here is the binary to binary coded decimal display. I mean display. What am I talking about? Converter. And it is pretty big, but it's still smaller than doing a one to ninety-nine. And all of this from here. So all the way over there is useless. None of this is even used. Look, these are the outputs where they hooked up to. Like all the way over there. Nope, they're just here. They're useless. Absolutely useless. The only outputs he uses this one, 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 and this one. All the rest are useless. I don't even know why he has them. It's probably because he was copying and pasting them in and accidentally did too many. So because you only need these ones. So if you want to know how to make one of these, I'd suggest checking out a YouTube tutorial. Like Benny's Cube is a very good YouTuber, he does stuff like that. So yeah, check it out. So yeah, I would say this BCD drive is a very good one to use on your redstone calculator or computer or whatever you're using. As it's just so small. Like see, it's much smaller than the other one. I think this pretty much is the smallest design I'm not sure you could make it any smaller maybe yeah I'm not actually sure you could make it smaller so yeah if you like this video please like and subscribe that'd be quite nice of you and I am out see you later